Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to install and use Permission ZX. So first let's go over to the plugins tab and search for permissions and should install the latest version here. As soon as that is installed, let's go back to the server page and restart. As soon as the server has been restarted, let's go over to the file manager and go to the plugins folder. You'll now see the permissions EX file. And let's go to the permissions YML. Here you will see the groups. By default, it'll only have this one. So let's add another one. We can copy this and change this to moderator default false and let's add a permission we will let the moderators kick so they with this permission here they'll be able to kick other users and we'll also add we'll also add the teleport command so moderators will also be able to teleport on top of that we should add another one and make this admin. On top of this, we will also add the command to ban. And if they are able to ban, we will also give them the ability to unban players. So I think this is good for here, for starting out with uh, groups. So let's save this back to my server and restart. As soon as the server's been restarted, let's grab either the IP or the host name. And we will add that server. And then connect. Should be in the default so let's try. I'm not able to use that command. So first let's add myself to the moderator group. And we will use, do that by using the PEX user, Saikitsune, the username, group, add, and then the group name, moderator. So now that I am part of the moderator group, I should be able to slash kick Saikitsune, and it now works. So let's join again. And let's try now adding myself to X user Saikitsune group add admin. Now being part of the admin group, should be able to ban and I am now banned now let's go back to the plugins folder and then permissions EX and then we will go to the permissions YML again and we can also add one more group here we will make this the owner group. Below all the groups you'll also see the users, uh, the name of the user as well as their ID and what groups they are in. As for the owner group we're going to add the ability to use every command by using this permission node. Of course, after changing any of these groups, you'll want to save, go back to my server and restart once again. As soon as the server is restarted again, we're going to join. And this time we are going to add myself to Pex user group add to the owner group. So now that I am here, I should be able to
use every command possible, as I have showed you before. Now that I have access to those. Alright, well that is the gist of being able to install and set up Permissions EX. Hope you guys enjoyed.